Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Mist. Last episode, we uh, got the last of the information we could out of the books and have done some exploring. We've decided we're going to try and get to the Mechanical Age and we've made our way into the Clock Tower here. We uh, happened to get the information in order to get the, these gears up so that we could get to the Clock Tower and now we're inside. All we know is we need to get it to... 2 to 1. How do we do that? Especially when each time we pull one of these, nothing happens? Well... That's how. <laughs> yes, I looked it up. Apparently you can hold, down, hold it down and it causes the middle gear to continue turning. You devious bastard again. Either way, we appear to have opened up a gear. So now, let's go over to those big, massive, honking gears that we found and see if the model reflects reality. And it, indeed, it does. Ominous sound to it, so here we have. This must be the mechanical age. Just showing off the age. All these gears and everything. And it's just repeating. Well, let's go. It is definitely a mechanical sound to it. Well, there is an endless sea in all directions. Some kind of switch here, no idea what the purpose is. Ah! I remember, in the book it actually showed a set of stairs that went down, so that must be this. This must unlock that. Well, there's only one way to go, so... Nothing in view anywhere else. Let's go into what must be the fortress. Start walking. And here we find something. This is quite a room. Maces, swords, jeez, the heck is this place? Ah! Okay, there's a snake. It's a crossbow, mace, axe, jeez. Oh. Fortress Rotation Simulator. Ah, this was mentioned. Okay, there's like a ding to the south. That doesn't do anything. Ah, but if we do that... That's another sound. That's a ding. Okay, it'll just bring us around to each of these. That's a clicking sound. I guess we need to, like, get it to each sound, so... I guess we need to know what each sound is. So that's kind of a ping. So then, east is what? It's more of a boing. So then, north is what?
That's definitely a ping, not the south one. And the west is... <coughs> Click. So if the top is a ping, what's the south one? Let me see if I can figure out a better sound for it. <coughs> dong. I I'll just go with dong. Well, at least we know that. And... Hold on, what's this? Oh! Oh. Oh, dear. It's a cage. And a blue pa Poison vials. We have a blue page here. Ah! This is an electrified cage. And... I don't know. Oh, that's a skull! This is a freaking torture room! Whoever owned this room. Oh boy, they were not a good person. So, like, why is the question? Who was it? None of the people here seemed that hostile or evil, at least according to the book, so whose room is it? We have another room here. Okay, there's plenty of good stuff in this room. Oh, a spaceship? And a boat. Like the channel would age. But nobody would have known about that except Cirrus and Akinar. These are their rooms? In fact, look, there's the clock tower. So does that mean these rooms belong to Cirrus and Akinar? No other information there. These gems light up, but I don't see what the purpose is. And he's got this big throne room. Even with a chest well that's not a chest set, it's only six by six. Does he have a hidden door? He does. With wine, gold coins, chests, and there's the blue, the red page. Red was Cirrus. So does that mean this is Cirrus's room? With all these fancy things and everything? Well, that's all the way around. So if that's Cirrus's room, does that mean Akinar is a horrible, hideous murderer? Can't seem to go around this. So if we press this button... Oh! Oh, hello. There we go. Okay, that must have twisted that around, and... Ah, now we can go into this. That's good. So then, if we go forward... Can't go down. Okay, this goes up. To something. on the top floor, I guess. Ah! There's something up there. But there's no... Why is it delayed like that? Oh, wait a minute. I think I know why. I have an idea. So if we press the button again, and step outside... Oh, very clear. 
lever. And these are the controls. Oh, oh no, that just brought it back up. So that what's happened. So that's the button. Okay, good to know. Now we just need to rotate it. I guess we'll look at each of the... Uh, I mean, there were only three islands, but we'll have to look at them. Let's see. That unlocked it, and that locks it to a ping. That's the Boeing, so this is now pointing east. So now, if we go all the way down... That means we'll probably be able to go out. Alright through this room. I wonder if we can see anything through this as we go around. I'll take a few quick peeks as I move. Yep, we made it to another island. And here we have... Ah! Okay. We have two symbols. I guess we need... <coughs> These are actually two of the symbols we need in order to get out. So let's see. It looks like the third and fourth symbol are a circle and three triangles and a half moon. Okay. Well, that was actually quite simple. Now we can just go back down. Hold on. That's... I kind of like that. So, yeah, we have this, this one fortress meant to save the people. But where were all the people staying? Oh, I actually didn't need to do that. So where were all the people staying? All we see are Sears and Akinar's rooms. And one of these people has skulls. Did, did he murder them? <coughs> that was Akinar's room. Did Agnar murder the people here? He must have tortured them. That's more than a little concerning. We have his page. We'll see what he has to say. <clears throat> okay, unlock. That's the ping. So that'll look at the north area. Alright, back down. And it's open. All... No, that's not the room I wanted to look in. I want to see if there's anything in the, uh... Oh. That's... Why would it be looking at a skull on a mask? Is it related to the black ships that were mentioned? In fact, now that I mention it, the sky is blue. The black, when the black ships came, it was black and the sky remained that, and then it was gray. Now the sky is blue. We have the other two answers for what we need. Uh, kind of an arch, and then we have a line with two triangles on either side. Well, we have all the things we need in order to get out of here, which I guess is needed so that we can... Which I guess is needed so that we can, you know, get out of here, bring the page back to where it needs to go. Just need to 
turn back and make the code. back. There. And that's the click. I don't think there's anything here, but we can take a look. This direction probably doesn't have anything, unless there's something through the telescope. There might be, for all I know. The answer is... no, there's nothing. Just in one direction that shows a skeleton. And this actually doesn't actually lead to anywhere. Just... allows us to go out and look out over the endless ocean. I don't know what the point is of that particular location, that just for completionist's sake or something? Well, either way, let's go back. I forgot. Need to hit that. There we go. Down that goes. Unlock it. Twist it. And click. Well, dong. This does... This tower does turn remarkably fast, now that I think about it. This is very good. Either way, Sirius and Akinar's rooms are very concerning. Well, we've been through all of them. Time to go back and bring back the page. So let's see, we've got that one. That one, that one, and that one. There we go! And we made it down. And it looks like this brings us right back into the library. For some reason, we landed on our back. Well, let's give this to Akinar. It has to be Akinar. Yes, I have. I found your room. My brother, I beg you. Always blue pages. Listen to him. Now listen to my brother. Just a fool and a liar. Bring me the blue pages. The red ones. Don't bring the red ones. I will have my retribution. <laughs> okay, so Akinar is begging more for the blue pages and saying not to listen to his brother who is an egotistical liar. He also sounds very manic. Yeah, that's not concerning at all. Also said he was wrongfully imprisoned, probably for the whole burning of books thing. Well, 
either way. We should go to we should go back to the mechanical age and get the red page to hear what Cirrus has to say about all this. Come on, come on, let's get there. Fortunately, since we know how to get there and back so easily, this should be relatively simple. Just gotta run over in here. Run into the Room of Wealth. Nope, not there. Let's see, where was it? Here it is. On a pile of gold. Where did he get all this gold anyway? Uh, we can just sit that again and go right back down. It's good that he managed to keep this hidden, but the clues were right in the open. It would have been very easy for anyone to be able to get in there. There's not much to explore, anyway. Well, Cirrus, what have you got to say? Retire. Thank you for bringing me back. You're welcome. You must continue. My name is Cirrus. Yes, you mentioned that. I beg you, fine. Remain in my pages. You must read. Please make from this book which has come. I need more red pages, please. Don't waste time. Look. Don't touch. My brother. My brother. And I. So that's Cirrus's side. He was wrongfully imprisoned. Don't listen to his brother. He does sound more reasonable. Still seriously imploring. Akinar does seem quite manic and... Ins and... Well, just as desperate, but still. And he had that room filled with torture devices. Cirrus had a lot of money. But at the same time, he was looking at that skeleton. It could have just been a chance. Either way, we've already finished one age. Now we have to finish another. One by one, we'll get through the ages. And we also have that lit up now. So, what's left? Well, we'll find out in the next episode, when we move on to the next age. Until then, I'm Chester44, this has been a Let's Play of Mist, and I shall see you all next time.